42-year-old Humberto Tapia of La Paloma jailed after allegedly threatening a woman and raping her. His victim claims he grabbed her by the neck, threatened to kill her if she left him, and said he would cut her guts out if she didn't have sex with him. The woman called authorities after he fell asleep, but this isn't a story about an intruder raping a woman at home alone. The alleged abuser is the woman's common-law husband. I get so angry and upset, you know, because I cannot understand how we as humans could hurt one another, you know, especially to somebody who you're, is your spouse. You're married because you love the person. Debbie Perez has been with the Family Crisis Center in Harlingen for nine years and has heard horrifying stories from victims coming to her looking for her guidance. He threatens me constantly. He forced himself on me. She says most victims of domestic abuse are so scared to find help because of the backlash that may come at home. I'll gut you. I'll kill you. I'll go after your family. Uh, he'll also use the children as a form of control by saying, you know, if you leave, I'll take the children away. Perez says cases like the La Paloma incident come through her office weekly, and the Family Crisis Center can direct victims on how to get out of the situation, but many go back to the hellish environment and for several reasons. They stay because they feel like they have to. You know, and especially because when it comes to the culture, a lot of our clients say that, no, you know, my family says that I married this man, so I have to stay because he's my husband. This latest attack, Betis says, is another reminder to women or even young girls in relationships that threatening words can quickly become a reality. We need to learn to take threats seriously because, I mean, yes, what if one day he just gets up and does stab me? It's then a story about murder, Betta says, and a woman who had endured years of abuse but never found help. To break the cycle of abuse, to speak out about their abuse, because by doing so then that can help them save a life, or their own life or somebody else's life.